So I haven't filmed a perfume haul in about six months. And the last one I filmed was over the summer with my friend Amy. And I gathered everything up that I had purchased recently then. And I took it over to her house and we were smelling together. And a lot of those were blind buys. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit better this time on the blind buy front as far as fragrances are concerned, but there are definitely a few in here. So today I am filming my haul videos. My office in here, you can barely walk through it. I've got boxes everywhere and I need to be able to put the stuff away so I can organize it and plan videos around it because I actually plan and I'm going to follow through with doing videos. So I have all of my fragrances. They've been hanging out here in this basket for like the last six months. Each time I purchase one, I would just pop it in there. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Anyway, let's just get into it. So speaking of my friend Amy and a video we filmed together, I went over to her house. It's been about a month ago now. And we smelled the samples that I had from Solstice Scents and we also smelled all of the samples and she had quite a few full size bottles as well. So we went through and we smelled like a lot. And I'll leave that linked up here for you or down in the description box if you wanna check it out. But we really went through and we like smelled them all. And I was inspired to actually buy some full size uh, fragrances after that. So I'm going to show you what I got that are full size. Um, one of them isn't for me. It's for my husband because when I came home and I was telling him about um, that video that I did with Amy, he wanted to smell some of them and one really stood out to him. And the one that stood out to him was called Wardrobe. So if you're unfamiliar with Solstice Scents, the whole line, and Amy's would be able to tell you this way better than me, the whole line is based around a fictional town and like all of the places within the town. So I know that there's like a Gibbons school and all of that stuff. And the smells are all based around different things in the fictional town. But anyway, this scent is wardrobe and it's a beautiful cedar scent and I'm probably going to wear this scent too. My husband went ahead and told me that I can go ahead and keep it in here with my fragrances. We do have some scents that overlap that we both like to wear. Um, if you want a video on that, let me know. But this I think is going to be one that we're both going to wear and not because like, here's the thing. I don't wear perfume to smell like what other people want me to smell like. I wear perfume to smell good. Um, but I do like every now and then wearing a perfume that I know my husband likes the smell of. And unfortunately, my husband, for the most part, likes me to smell like a log. Um, he loves woody scents. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that and keep it in here in the event that I want to smell nice for him. Um, so then the fragrances that I picked up for myself, I got four, three of which are like in bottles like this. And then one, I believe is a, is it a rollerball? Uh, yeah, it's a roller ball. If I can find it, I put it down in here somewhere. It is the scent Manor. Again, the artwork on here is like so beautiful. It's like focusing on my fingers and I don't want it to. There we go. And this is like a beautiful woody aged vanilla. It's not a super sweet vanilla. It's just so good. It's a beautiful woody vanilla. Like there's no other... Mm, way to put it. It smells so good. So I'm sad that they didn't have that in the bigger bottle because I was looking for it there, but I mean, I will take what I can get. Um, so there's that. And then, so the three that I got in the bottles for myself, the first one is lavender vanilla. And this is absolutely beautiful. It's not a super sweet vanilla. And it's also not like one of those like sharp, masculine leaning uh, lavenders, which again, when I say masculine leaning, I mean marketed. There's a lot of male scents that have um, lavender in them. And this to me smells like fresh lavender. 
in vanilla, but then also the vanilla isn't overly sweet. It's like a vanilla extract, but it sweetens up on my skin. So a lot of fragrances I find get worse on my skin, and this is one that gets better on my skin. I don't want to sound like, like I just naturally smell like trash because that's not the case, but like there are some scents that kind of go sour or salty on me sometimes. No, this develops in a beautiful way on my skin and it almost ends up smelling like a candied lavender, but like not overly sweet and like sickly gourmand. It's like just perfect. So then I got Rose Custard Kulfi. So this has cardamom in it. So it's, which kind of brings it back a little bit to where it's not overly um, like rose-like. Cause again, I don't love a ton of rose scents, but this is one I can really go for. But then also like the, the sweetness from the custard, is it overly gourmand? Because I think that the cardamom in it just really kind of brings it back. It's delightful. So there's the artwork on this one. And I also think it's hilarious that I planned on filming multiple videos today and my nails look like this. <laughs> um, not fixing them. I also got Estate Amber. It's so good. Again, it kind of has like that aged wood kind of smell. It's like if you were to smell amber and then there's like that aged wood that like, um, not because of polish, but just over time almost has like just smoothed out like from people sitting on it, like old church pews. Do you know how those, after a time, <laughs> those get like really kind of like smooth? Um, it To me, it just reminds me of like old wood and amber. It's not as overly sweet amber. Oh, it's so good. And I'll show you the artwork on this, which the artwork appears to look kind of like the Taj Mahal. Okay, so moving away from Solstice Sense into Jo Malone. So, I've talked about this before. It's kind of hard to explain, and I don't know why it's so hard for me to explain this, but the cosmetic company store, which you see at a lot of outlet malls, also has a text messaging system to where if you get on their text list, they will send you a picture of a bunch of items that they've put in a bundle, and then they will kind of then send the text, which is the list of all the items and the price, and then you just reply back with like, one, two, three, four, five, and that's like how many you want. And I've gotten like quite a few really nice expensive things um, for not a lot of money doing that, which um, the La Mer face cream that's like super expensive, um, I got like at a discount of the price. What they do when they put those super expensive things on there though is they only show you the silhouette. So you may not know the exact scent you're getting or the exact shade, like say if it's Tom Ford, um, but you can kind of tell from the shape of the silhouette, like kind of what brand at least you're getting. And it was such a good deal. I just told myself if it's a scent I already have, which I only have like the sea salt, wood sage sea salt scent. Like if it's a, if it's a scent that I already have, then I'll just give it to somebody as a gift. But long story short, or long story long, I guess, um, I got this, which is English pear and freesia. So, I mean, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle, and this came with other things also. And I think I paid, it was under $100 for all the stuff and this. I mean, I should go back and look at this point. Um, let me see here. Oh, I got this plus a Joe Malone candle that was bitter orange. And then the Darkman Skincare System and Estee Lauder like eye cream and um, a Darfin hand cream, which I might be saying that brand wrong. But all luxury items, I got all of it for $89. But see kind of how the silhouette is, so you're not exactly sure what you're getting. So anyway, I got all of that for $89, which is a steal of a deal. Those are also perfect for gifting. Um, you can kind of break those things up and like kind of curate things, and that's what I end up doing with the items that I don't like from them. Um, or that I am just not interested in. I, I always use those as opportunities to gift nice things to other people. 
But anyway, I got this and then I did another one a couple of weeks before that and I had never even heard of this scent from Jo Malone. Um, but this is the Sea Daffodil Cologne. And again, I it's a full size. It's 3.4 ounces. This is heavenly. I think this is going to be one of my go-to spring scents. It's absolutely beautiful. It does kind of have like those aquatic sorts of notes, which I've come to find that I am not a huge aquatic person, but really the daffodil, oh, it's beautiful. It's so, it's, it's like, um, springtime at sea. It's so nice. Mm. So anyway, those are the two Joe Malone items that I recently got. Um, Ulta had a deal going not too long ago for their 21 days of beauty sale. Um, and I just went ahead and broke down and got this because it's kind of a classic go-to scent. There's not really anybody that I know that doesn't really like this. And this is just like an easy reach. It's, it's kind of a comforting scent and even one that I think that I would enjoy wearing to bed. Which if you haven't seen my video on fragrances that I wear to bed, I'll have that linked up here and down below if you're interested in it. Every couple of months, that whole list of uh, perfumes that I like to wear to bed kind of changes, just kind of depending on the time of year and how I'm feeling and all that good stuff. But this to me is definitely one of those sort of comforting scents. Um, and I think it's beautiful. So I recently did a video where I went over all of, well, actually I found, came home and found more vanilla fragrances, but I went over a ton of vanilla fragrances. I think we did nearly 40 vanilla fragrances that we sniffed and kind of gave our opinions on. Again, I'll have it linked up here or down below if you're interested. But from that video, um, oh my goodness, there's a train. I live like a mile from the tracks and I can still hear it like super loud. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we tried a sample of the K Alley Vanilla 28 and at first sniff, we weren't impressed. It was like barely there, but then we sprayed it on Ansley in the video and then we waited a couple of minutes and it actually developed on her and smelled really good. So I didn't want to get a big bottle of it, but I did go ahead and order one of these smaller bottles so that I can maybe try a little bit more and then determine if a big bottle is what I need. And also the reason why I didn't want to get a big bottle is I have like 400 bottles of fragrance right now. Um, I do not need more while I'm hauling all of this stuff, but I did restrain myself and get a small bottle. Um, I also did just purchase today, which it hasn't arrived in the mail yet. Um, I did purchase the, was it sugared patchouli? It's, it's their new one that they just came out with, um, or that Kay Alley came out with. Um, it's supposed to be limited edition. I guess it's like the holiday scent, but it looked like everything that I would absolutely love. So I did go ahead and pick up a bottle of that. It's obviously not in this haul because I ordered it today. It was released today, which today is November the 16th. Um, so I'll probably get it within the next week or so. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you about it now because it is limited edition in case you're interested in it. And then also, I'll tell you more about it like in the new year, but I am going on a low buy with actual like conditions as to when I can buy stuff. So it's not just like me buying less, it's me buying less and I only get to buy more um, like say when I sell perfumes on Mercari, then maybe I can buy more. It's, it's like that. I'll do a full detailed video. It, it goes for fragrance and makeup as well, which you will see why when you see this makeup haul as to why I'm deciding <laughs> to do this. But anyway, that's the last fragrance that I will be getting is that Kaali fragrance. Don't know why I'm smelling this one and talking about that one. Okay, so then Sephora had one of those Sephora favorites kits. And if it's still available, I'll have it linked below. I'll have all of this linked if you're curious about it. But if it is still available um, and you want this fragrance, I highly suggest it. So it was the Sephora favorites kit for men and it was $75 for the kit. You get all of the men's fragrance samples and then you get to go choose which one you want. Well, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, which I believe retails for $150, was 
in that set. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you were interested in this anyway to just go get the set. So I went ahead and I picked this up and it really is a beautiful leather fragrance. This is also one that I will definitely be sharing with my husband. But it's just a nice expensive leather fragrance. This is also perfect for layering for me if I don't want to just smell like full on leather. Um, and then also two fragrances that are marketed as unisex through Dior and which I definitely think they are. Um, this first one is the Dior Toba Color. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I'm terrible at pronouncing anything that is not like straightforward English. Um, but anyway, I picked this up and this is how Dior gets you is when you purchase from them, which I purchased their eyeshadow quads or their quince. They're one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow formulas out there. They give you the option for like samples when you check out which are usually fragrance and they're not just like they do give you some spray ones but also a lot of times if you spend so much they give you like the little mini bottles and so I was able to get um, a ton of the mini bottles which I kind of have a plan on just doing maybe a video about all of them but I smelled this and it was like love at first sniff it is so good it's like a sweet tobacco mixed with like church like church incense and it's so smooth and beautiful it's definitely a unisex scent I would love to smell this on anybody um it's so good it's beautiful and it's smooth it's not like a sharp tobacco smell it's it just smells expensive it's absolutely beautiful and then another one that I was interested in was the vanilla diorama diorama see I can't say words but I was interested in this one as well. They did have this available in a smaller bottle. So I got the smaller bottle as opposed to the larger one. This fragrance they did not have, at least at the time, in the smaller bottle. So I did end up getting this. And this is kind of very similar. You can tell it's from like the same line of fragrance. But this is a vanilla instead of a tobacco with a hint of like incense in it and again it's very deep and beautiful um like the perfect winter vanilla sephora had actually i got this directly from their website but sephora has this as well where you can try their body sprays and they're one ounce each and I think it was 25, 26 bucks, which is a great deal. And I had been meaning to try them because everybody had been talking about them, but I didn't want to buy a full size. And not because like they were expensive, but because I hardly ever use body sprays. But I'm like, if I try these and they're absolutely amazing, then I will go buy the full size of whichever one. So this comes with the uh, number 62, which is the pistachio and salted caramel. Um, it comes with the number 68, which is Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Um, it comes with the car or number 71, which is Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. And then also it comes with the 40, which is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. So they all smell delicious. Um, but I haven't actually like worn them on my skin yet. So I'll maybe try them out, see how long they wear. I can't imagine they would wear very long because they are body splashes. And that's mainly why I don't do body sprays anyway, is because I don't want to have to spray myself throughout the day. I think the only time that, that, that those body sprays are kind of like advantageous, like say you're going to go to the gym not too long from now, but you have something else to do where you need to smell nice. So you use a body splash, you smell nice, it's gone by the time you go to the gym so you're not bothering the person on the treadmill next to you. Um, and I feel like that is a very specific event. <laughs> um, okay, so then YSL, and I think this is new, this is the Le Parfum of the Libre, which is very similar. Again, it's like that sort of um, candied lavender smell only this has a kick of ginger in it and I already have the intense and the eau de parfum 
And so I will probably do a video comparing the three if that's something you guys are interested in. But this fragrance line is just one that I absolutely love. If I want to smell nice and I can't think about, like I can't think of what to wear, I always reach for the intense version. And I absolutely love that smell. Then I got this from Glossier. Everybody was raving about it in perfume groups. And I've tried to wear it a few times and it's just not for me. Um, so this is Glossier U and this is a musk scent, but it has iris in it. But I don't even think it's like, I think it's like the root, which is Oris. I don't think it's like iris iris. I think it's the root because it's kind of got like that sort of waxy lipsticky smell in with the musk, which a lot of people love that sort of lipsticky smell in their perfumes. I'm just not loving it. So I'm going to try it a few more times, but that's probably going to go in my declutter bin, um, which I probably have like a good 50 fragrances in it right now. And I'm only holding on to them because I have videos where I need to reference them before I sell them on Mercari. I got this, which is supposed to be a dupe for Baccarat. I own Baccarat, um, which if you're not familiar and you're not a perfume person, it's uh, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540. It's a very expensive perfume and I feel like everybody has tried to dupe it. And I figured that I would pick this up because I do have a video coming up talking about fragrances that smell similar, like dupes and all that stuff. And so I went ahead and I picked it up because it was only 13 to $14 uh, for this size, which is one ounce. And I will say it's very close. Um, it's one of the closest that I have smelled to it. This cap didn't want to go on or off. That's unfortunate. Anyway, it's one of the closest I've smelled and also one of the more affordable. But again, wait for that video before you make any determination on any of those if you're looking for a dupe. Um, and also, you may just be in the frame of mind like my friend Amy who is so sick of hearing about that fragrance. And honestly, it was for a while I craved the smell. I absolutely loved it. I was all about it. And I don't know if it's like after I had COVID uh, last May, or if my, uh, I've also had my hormones, uh, the, the doctor's been playing with my hormones <laughs> through medications and things like that, which your hormones can affect the way you perceive smell. I used to crave that smell and I thought it smelled absolutely heavenly. And I still think it smells really good, but it's not one, now for me, it's like take it or leave it. And of course it's like take it or leave it after I have purchased like every dupe known to man, the original, like crazy, like whatever. But I do plan on doing a video talking about them. But also speaking of them, this was an accidental situation. So, okay, well, okay, I'm gonna start with this first. So I have been curious about this brand, which is, is it Wilhelm Perfumery? I've been curious about this brand because first of all, the names of all their fragrances like Chef's Kiss, but then also Mango Skin. I smelled it once when I went out somewhere and it was the perfect fruity scent, like addictive. Um, so I wanted to try all of the fragrances and I also wanted to try that one again to see if I still liked it. Because again, since my senses have changed a little bit, I didn't want to go like into a situation where it smelled amazing. I put it on my list and then um, when I go to buy it, it's just like not what I thought it was. So I wanted to try that again. So I do have a video coming up where I'm gonna be testing all of these and giving you my thoughts on them because they are relatively expensive perfumes. I bought that on Anthropology, and while I was there, I was kind of curious about this because it had a lot of the notes that I really enjoy in perfume listed and I was like, oh my gosh. And it didn't even click to me that this is just an expensive dupe for Baccarat Rouge. Um, so a lot of the other dupes that I have, I think the most expensive was like, I don't know, 50 bucks. This is like $125 and I just bought it blind based off the notes because it didn't click in my head, but listen to the notes. <laughs> 
Egyptian jasmine, saffron, almond, amberwood, Bulgarian rose, moss, ambergris, fir resin, cedar, dry amber, and musk. Yeah, so I get it. It's a beautiful bottle, but I wouldn't say it's like a full on like exact dupe, but you can definitely tell that they were, they were angling for that. So I'm going to try it out with the others and it will be in the video. I'm just a little bit annoyed. Like, here's the thing. If you're getting this to get Baccarat and it's not exactly the same after spending $125 in this case, like you might as well have just saved a little bit longer and got Baccarat. Okay. And then the last thing are some Lilavo fragrances. So this first one I actually got the same way as I got the Joe Malone fragrances through the cosmetic company store, like text situation. And this is LYS 41. Um, this is beautiful. It has, it's gotta be tuberose in it. I think, I don't really know because I, I don't think it's listed on the thing, but this is a half ounce and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful spring scent. So I will do kind of a review when I go ahead and go through these. So Santal 33 has been on my list to purchase for about a year now. And again, with my scents changing, also I have the Dossier dupe and the oil perfumery version of it, and I love them both. So instead of just going and buying a full size, I decided to be smart <laughs> and I purchased this because there's multiple things I can do with this. I can make sure that Santal 33 is my favorite out of all of them. I can compare it to what I already have. And if um, those I think are just as good, I don't need to buy the full size. And then also I have a video coming up here pretty soon talking about dossier, which my last dossier video was very popular. And I'll get into all of the dossier stuff here in a minute because I'm a little bit annoyed, but um, they have the T Noir, the Rose 31, the Santal 33. They have dupes for all of those in which I actually have the bottles of them. So I can compare the dossier to this if you were curious about them as well. And so I definitely have some videos that are going to be based around this, which I am excited about. So I ended up getting in this kit another 13 Bergamot 22, Rose 31, Santal 33, Matcha 26, and um, Te Noir 29. And all of these are 0.17 fluid ounces or 5 mil, which is a pretty decent size. So you can kind of see here, that's quite a bit. I can definitely form an opinion on them. Okay, so back to the whole dossier thing. Um, I already have them sitting over there but I purchased 10 more dossier scents because my previous dossier video did really well. Um, and there were scents that people were asking me about in the comments and they were messaging me and they were asking me if I had tried them. So I went ahead and I purchased 10 more because I got an email from dossier asking me to do more videos. And in exchange, they would send me six fragrances to do videos on. So I'm like, cool. So I told them the six fragrances that I wanted. So after I told them what I wanted them to send me, I then went onto the website and was kind of poking around and I found some more fragrances that I would be interested in, not necessarily for me, but just for review purposes to kind of supplement that previous video that I did about Dossier. So I went in and I purchased those 10 fragrances and I've received them. But then Dossier has not answered my emails back after they reached out to me. And then they also have not sent the six fragrances um, that they offered to send me. So I'm kind of like just hanging out until I get the six fragrances from Dossier, unless I then have to spend more of my money to do it. Cause I, I think for the 10 fragrances I got, I spent around $200. So um, I'm like, well, I don't wanna like spend more to do a video for them. So anyway, I am just kind of waiting <laughs> at this point until they can send me um, those. So they should be coming at some point. 
And then if, I guess if they don't send them, I'm just going to have to break down and purchase them myself. So um, that's where we're at with that. I would get up and show you all the ones that I did purchase, but you're going to see them anyway in the upcoming videos. And I've blocked myself in. Um, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you know like the desk, but you know like the desks that like you pull out the leaves on the side for writing. I pulled those out and I have perfume on them right now. So I actually can't exit to go get them. But anyway, that's the end of this perfume haul. That is everything I'm getting for quite some time. Um, I want to focus more on what I have and focus on doing videos on what I have. And I feel like the reason I've been in kind of a video rut and I haven't been posting is not only because I'm busy with everything, it's because I've been purchasing so much stuff that I don't know where to begin, what people are interested in. I just kind of can't get a hold on it. So I'm just going to chill for a second and then use what I have and create content around that. So anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.